Hey DR, I'm Trent Saliva. And I'm Tom Kimball. And, and this, this is DR News. Darren and Sam went around the school asking students their best pickup lines. Trenton, can you give me an example? On a scale of one to 10, you're a nine, and I'm the one you need. Hey DR, I'm Darren Lynch. And I'm Sam DaCosta, but you can call me anytime. Since Valentine's Day is right around the corner, we went around asking the students their best pickup lines. So what's your best pickup line? Are you a hurricane? Cause you blow me away. If you were a pirate, I was a parrot. Do you want me on um, this shoulder or uh, this one? So Tyler, what's your best pickup line? Uh, if you were toilet paper, you'd be ultra soft. That's nice. <laughs> you look like you have low self-esteem. Want to go out with me? Well, looks like most of the is going to be single for Valentine's Day. I'm Sam DaCosta. And I'm also single. Until next time. Here's the first edition of CTE Highlights brought to you by Alec and Casey. This is the very first CTE Highlight, and for the first CTE Highlight, we interviewed our very own TV studio asking the students what TV production is like. Ben went around the school asking students random trivia questions. Let's see what they came up with. Hello, DR. I'm Ben Brown, and welcome to today's quiz show. I asked students three random questions to see if they knew the answers. Let's see what they said. Where in the world did Harry Houdini pass away? Is it A, Detroit, Michigan, B, Miami, Florida, C, Boston, Massachusetts, or D, Appleton, Wisconsin? I'll go with C. That is incorrect. Well, I knew it. A. You are correct. Sadly, he has vanished for good. In England, what is a BAP? Is it A, a loaf of bread, B, a backpack, C, a baby's crib, or D, a type of bird? I'm gonna have to go with C. A baby's crib, you are incorrect. B. B is a backpack that you are also incorrect. A. It is a loaf of bread, and you're on a roll. Which is the only U.S. state that produces coffee beans? Is it A, Iowa, B, Idaho, C, Hawaii, or D, Florida? B. That is incorrect, I'm sorry. A. I, that is also incorrect, I'm sorry. C. Hawaii, that is correct! It was an honor, Lulu, to have you on our show today. Thank you very much. That's all the time we have for this week, DR. Thanks to everybody who answered. More trivia questions in the future.
It's now time for a new segment with me, this kid, and Jack McGuirt called Lip Sync Battles. You're going down, Jack. Hey DR, Triton and Jack here introducing a new segment called Lip Sync Battles to advertise for the Lip Sync Contest on March 18th. Sign-ups have started this week and will be up until February 12th. Practices will begin the week of March 7th. Now here is a sneak peek of what the show will look like. That's all you ever hear me say. But since you've been gone, I can't breathe for the first time. I'm so moving on, yeah, yeah. Thanks to you, now I get what I want. Since you've been gone. I want to know, oh, what do you mean? Cause you're running out of time, what do you mean? Oh, baby. Oh, 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 what do you mean? Better make up your mind, what do you mean? You can see more of this on March 18th in the auditorium at 7 o'clock. Here's Tom Kimball with the sports recap, but in all reality, it's just a basketball reel. Well, that was really embarrassing, but here's the long awaited return of the sports recap. First up, due to the long absence, we're going to have to go all the way back to the Seekonk game where Reed and Tweedy started the rivalry right, and then Tweedy found Carrera on a beautiful backdoor pass, and then the one everyone wanted to see, yes, Mike Charette, who is now retired, put in his first points of the year. Now we'll fast forward to Apotiquit, where Chad Gaucher dominated, pulling up just like Stephen Curry of the Golden State Warriors and putting on a ridiculous shooting display. So regardless how much the Falcons scored, led to a loss. DR then traveled to New Bedford Folk, where Bubba Carrera and Cam Reed starting off right with the beautiful long pass. Cam Reed put in the three, and then Nick Kaneski, this week's player highlight, put in back-to-back -back threes. But once again, it was not enough, and DR lost. So after the loss, DR finally got to come back home to play Somerset High, where Steven Scuba Sylvia took over with threes and beautiful finishes inside the paint, which would lead DR to the victory. After weeks of recapping, the Falcons are 10 and 6. That's all for this week's sports recap. I'm Tom Kimball. See you next time. Movie Night, hosted by the Leo Club to benefit the homeless of the community. Thursday, February 11th, time 6 to 10 p.m. The cost is $5 or half off with a costume. Hope to see you there. Now here's this week's High Five Club, brought to you by Jack McGuirk. Hey DR, here are the newest members to the High Five Club. Ashley Sozars is enrolled in many honors and AP classes. She is ranked in the top 10% of her class earning honor roll. Ashley is a member of the National Honor Society as president. She also has received the St. Anselm Book Award. Ashley volunteers in Best Buddies and as a cheer coach for Pop Warner for four years. She plans to attend a four-year college for childcare and special education. John Delaney is enrolled in honors and AP classes earning honor roll every term. He has served as the president for the class of 2016 for the past four years. He's a three-sport varsity athlete in football, winter, and spring track, serving as captain for both track seasons. John is a member of the Student Advisory Committee and a member of Drimprov. He plans to attend a four-year college for business. Sarah Steenheisen is enrolled in honors and AP courses. She is ranked in the top 15% of her class earning honor roll. Sarah is a varsity soccer player as well as being freshman transition mentor, volunteers as a coach for Rehoboth Youth Soccer and a counselor at Camp Ramsville. Sarah plans to attend a four-year college for business. Matt McEthrin is enrolled in honors and AP courses. He is in the top 10% of his class and earns honor roll. Matthew is a member of National Honor Society as well as playing varsity soccer, basketball, and tennis. He works as a Rehoboth Youth Basketball Referee and plans to attend a four-year college to become a veterinarian. Have a good weekend, DR. Now back to the studio. To close off the news, we have a very important topic we would like to discuss, brought to you by Evan and Joe. You know they lost, right? What are you talking about? They lost in the AFC Championship game to Denver. Did you not watch? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Totally watched the game. I'll be right back. Definitely. What's good now, Jack, huh? Joe, that was Super Bowl 44. Six years ago. Get with the program. God. Joe, just pick a team. Many teams, one favorite. Don't join a bandwagon. Learn more at nfl.com slash bandwagons. This is a very serious issue. On February 11th and 12th, head to the library to play the Blind Library Date Book game. Bring a book home and ditch the drama of Valentine's Day. Well, that's all the time we have for this week, DR. As always, I'm Tom Kimball. And I'm Trent Sleva. Have a great weekend, DR.